spade what? Oh, where did I put it? Here. Okay, it takes six weeks to make a sperm and requires a temperature. All right, all right, okay, I'll take your word. Okay, now the water has to be just as cold as you can stand it. Oh, that's great, that's okay. great. Okay, got the water running, I'll get you some more ice cubes and with a little luck, your sperm count should be up by Friday. Is it Friday? Yeah, yeah, I'll set the alarm for six. Six? Uh-huh. Now, wait a minute. Are you sure this kinky stuff is gonna help us? Sure. I mean, I'd hate to think we wouldn't have a baby because we couldn't handle a little inconvenience. Inconvenience? Go right in, Mrs. Canfield. Good morning. Good morning. Have a seat. That's bad, huh? Well, that depends. Got your test back. Well, you are definitely going to have a baby. Terrific. I guess you and your husband didn't exactly plan this. Must have been my birthday party. I forgot. You know. Anyway, I hate birthdays. Well, Trish, look, it may not be ideal timing for you, but then, you know, few people have their babies exactly when they want them. As a matter of fact, there's some women who have trouble getting pregnant at all. I don't want to get old and fat and ugly. What does getting old and fat and ugly have to do with having a baby? You simply watch what you eat after the baby comes, you exercise and get yourself back into shape. <laughs> with only a few stretch marks. That's right. I buy my husband the blindfold. Trish, you know, if I were you, I would think more about what you want out of this whole thing. You knew if you talked about it to Bob, he'd tell Cynthia and she'd tell everybody. Look, I'm sorry, honest, okay? I, I didn't mean it. Why did you have to talk to Bob anyway? Because I'm going crazy, Jenny. I, I mean, first you want to, then you don't want to. I was 16 years old last week. We're the only couple I know who doesn't. Then why don't you go with some of your own age? You'd be a snap. You could do it all you want. Look, Jenny, it's a... You don't have to feel sorry for me. Look, it's not that. I like you. I really like you. I didn't start going with you just because you're the sexiest girl in school. It's just that, well, because I like you, it, it's natural. Excuse me, I uh, just came in for my needlepoint. Have you ever heard of knocking, Mother? Well, I didn't think there was any necessity to. Hello, uh... Chris. Yes, Chris. Well, could I uh, interest you two in some popcorn or some soda? Mother, please. Right. Well, it certainly was nice seeing you again, Chris. What's the matter with her? What a dumb thing to do. Don't well, take it out on your mom, Jenny. I mean, uh, we're not little kids necking on the couch anymore, are we? No, we're not. Beach Blanket Bingo. From here to eternity, I ran out of the sea, the music swelled, and it was great, and they kissed, and they didn't get no shame. My heart is full of fire. That is the Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster, you got it, right? Terrible. Listen, have you ever been to Chicago? Chicago, uh... Yeah, yeah I think so when I was about six. I think I saw dinosaurs in the Museum of Natural History. Well, the Bridgehampton merger. Yeah? I got a promotion. Vice President, in charge of distribution. Oh, congratulations. That's great. Of the Midwest. Yes. 
It's, it's okay. I don't have to go until after the stockholder meeting. And I have to take a trip first. Who knows? I may hate it. I mean, I, uh, I know how hard you worked for it. It's Look, I got a great idea. Why don't you come with me? I'm supposed to fly to Chicago next week. We'll take a couple days to check out the hospitals. Look at the town. I don't think next week is going to be good because I have two ladies who are ready to deliver, and I can't. You go when you can. But promise me you'll think about it. Okay? Really? Yeah, you know, I'll think about it, yeah. Sure, I mean... As if I do like it, I'm going to want you there. He's looking at you, kid. Oh, no. <laughs> Sarah.